What can you do with the video in connection of a TV set or monitor? The normal application is to plug in a video source, either from a camera, player or some other device. Can you get other effects if you inject non-video signals? To find out, I connected this audio oscillator. It's an Altronics kit that provides an output of 1 volt up to 30 kilohertz. And there's a choice of waveforms including sine, square, triangle and sawtooth. I get signals from 27.5 kHz up to 30 kHz, which is the maximum limit of this oscillator. It's important to note that you won't get signals at all ranges of the oscillator. And it's handy if you can vary the level of the oscillator. I like this one. This is 7 kHz. Next is to try an N3ZI DDS. That goes above 30 kilohertz, in fact up to many megahertz. This is 30 kilohertz, 31, 32, 33, not much changes, 35, 41, 42 kilohertz, 43, so that's the difference between 42 and 43, just gets a lot finer. 44, finer still, 45, so it just gets finer and finer and finer when you go up from the low 40s to the mid 40s. And this is just kilohertz. And we've got some repeating patterns as well. Now we've got a change as we go from 50 to 51. This is 52. 53, 57, it's gone still. Quite an interesting effect. Around 59, 64, 67, 67. Now we're up to 83. Just here at 85. We've seen something like this before. 87, 90. Higher up in frequency the more stripes we get. For people in Melbourne, this means Collingwood. For people outside Melbourne, it means nothing. 107. 107. Just here, 118. Really interesting. So we'll go for some finer steps around 118 kilohertz. Now that's scrolling down. And that's scrolling up. Just trying to find a spot where it's stationary. A bit like a standing wave. And we're pretty close to it here. 117.998 kilohertz. Whereas that's 117.999. And that's 117.997. 121, 123, 129. This is 134.5. Dead stable vertical bars. 6, 134.7, 134.9. 7. 137.8. .7 For the full effects, we could have a 140.6, 143.3. No signal at 162 kilohertz, 1 megahertz, 1.030. We've got finer and finer patterns the higher up in frequency we go. Around 1035 kilohertz, it's very touchy. Just drop to a finer setting, now in 1 hertz steps. Now this is going to make you seasick. 
I don't know if you remember the Max Headroom ads, but something like this was in the background. Max Headroom live down under. Normally I'd say sunglasses are ostentatious. Oh, just everywhere. Say, Coke is it? Now, at 1053, we have colour. Let's go through this a bit more finely. This is 1050, 1053, 1054. That colour did not reappear. This is 1844. Happens to be 160 metres. This is at 4.72 megahertz, 4.728. This has been our look at RF oscillators and TV sets. Provided it's got a video in, which pretty much all of them do, and you've got an oscillator that can generate around a volt or so, then you can get some interesting effects. For the greatest range of effects, you need an oscillator that goes from audio to at least a few hundred kilohertz. There are numerous other experiments as well. For instance, if you don't have an oscillator that goes as high as 30 kHz, you could try audio frequencies and rectifying them and using the harmonics. You may need to amplify them to produce enough drive for the monitor. That could work well if teamed up with a drone machine to produce all sorts of audio and now video effects. If the voltage output is insufficient, with the screen saying no signal, you may be able to achieve enough drive by connecting a transformer, low impedance to your source and high impedance to the TV's video input socket. Something like an audio transformer or even in a pinch a reverse connected power transformer may work, but again I haven't tried it.